Believe me, I would, I'm in the same... I'm gonna get the rare relic. Ooh, that's very good. Very good. Okay. I mean, I would like to have moved more strikes. I wasn't able to move strikes. I also... So I don't like this path. This is a really aggressive early sparkle and way too many elites. If this is a... Look, imagine. One, two, three, four elites and three campfires. If you happen to get an amazing... Amazing start here with some potions and you can do these elites. I mean, that is a great act one. But I can't really do that. I guess I could try to do this one. I get a shop. Maybe I can do this elite and we still get three elites. Or two elites, rather. Yeah, Tungsten Rod is really good. With Tor, you take zero damage. I think it's too aggressive, so I'm gonna go for the less aggressive path. But still an early elite. Which is a little bit risky because I took I took damage to get a rare relic. So I gotta make sure I beat these fights without taking too much damage here. I'm trying to heal back up for this next fleet. And the shop has to carry me too. So Evolve is pretty good for the triple sentry, which is gonna two thirds of a chance of finding that. But still not the greatest. I want to, I kind of want to transform a strike and see what I get. That's my, like I could upgrade bash, which is nice, but I think I got to go for the high roll. Okay. That's not a bad card, but an act one is not crazy good at the moment. It's not crazy good at the moment. Oh yeah. Chunk is hundred percent worth it, but I'm just, I'm just talking about like, Currently, right now, the path that I'm about to be on. Tungsten Rod is amazing. That's really good. Fire Breathing Evolve is really good. That, that is kind of just... Is this worth it to take just for the Triple Century? We're fighting two early elites. It's also Hexaghost, so it works against Hexaghost, and the fire breathing is probably excessive. I think Headbutt's the play here. Ooh. So I don't want to take any more damage because we're fighting this. This elite, unfortunately, I have to lose max HP, which feels terrible. The shop's supposed to carry me here. So Whirlwind's pretty good, and Power Potion's pretty good. I want to start removing strikes, though, and I can't do both. I can't buy power potion in that, so I guess I just do shrug and whirlwind. I need room for moving strikes though. This is not a very good first turn. Hmm. I'm not gonna tell this size here, I don't think. We want to bring back Bash, right? It's the best thing for us. The fact that we lost max HP kind of sucks. But this is going to be a hard path to begin with. Magic Flower is really good. Armaments is really good. I really want to upgrade Armaments here. Am I scared to do this elite fight with uh, not upgrading? Should I rest just to be safe? Or am I upgrading here? I'm gonna rest regardless. And then we go to the next elite. That's annoying. Okay. Fire Potion is huge. None of these are really that great right now. The Dark Embrace is not really that strong right now. I can't really utilize it. Perfect Strike is a good hit, good strike, but I, I really hate how it... I don't like Perfect Strike after the fact, you know? As I'm trying to go into late game. So, right now I'm a little bit worried about my damage for the heart, I mean for Hexaghost. Centennial for Corruption is like... 
is something to consider, but also corruption is not really being played a lot right now. I just feel like it's it's a dead it's a dead. I'm like adding a, a basic block. I'm fighting is very good though. I feel good about this though. I really gotta try to get something for the, the hex ghost. I'm worried about my damage. I should have headbutt back the armaments probably right. So what's the right play here? Should I corruption early? And go aggressive in this fight? It is probiotic. What's up, Breco? This is called Tungsten Rod. I wonder if we do corruption just early for this fight. Do I have a Talisize here? I wanted to save for the, the, the Hex Ghost, but let's just save some life here. I have Metallicus, I could have saved the block. Oopsies. I could have saved the block. Oopsies. Is it worth doing Fire Pot, even though. Yeah, I think it will be. We just gotta get something for the Hex Ghost now. The Weakens very good. I want some cards for this. Corruption's not bad. I don't want to be too much, okay, in terms of, Evolve makes power through a little bit better. What's up, Rhinemarth, how you doing, buddy? Rhinemarth, rather, Rhinemarth. <sighs> Pummel is damaged, but I don't have strength, I really need something for the Hexagos right now. And power through doesn't, is not, I don't need block, I need damage for the Hexagos. I do like Pummel though, just on average. Hopefully, the high roll into some strength. I'm probably not opposed to playing uh, energy cards here. Like energy pot, I mean. But there's also no need. Yeah, I just started. I started. I started my stream earlier today. Cleave, cleave is good, but right now that's not what I need. Uh, this could help me in this fight, 100%. With armaments, is a little bit awkward. It is a little bit awkward with armaments. I must admit. And I should probably upgrade corruption just in case. Because it's nice to have this upgraded for Act 2. This is my best damage card though. Uh, I don't think we can beat this. I mean, maybe Warp Tongues just does enough for me. It's really good, Tori. Not wrong. Pain's a pain in the ass, actually. Pain and Evolve is the worst combo you could probably ask for. Should I just get this out of the deck? There's no point in holding on to it, right? By keeping the deck bigger, I'm getting pain less often. You wanna learn how to slate spider myself? Well, welcome, Egg Chef. How you doing, buddy? Does Tungsten know if I paint altogether? No, the only solution, the only way of uh, keeping that. Let me see. 
Oh, it does nullify pain altogether. Oh, tungsten rod's amazing. It's too good. Take a decent amount of damage here. We don't have damage though, Jesus Christ. I think we have to be more aggressive here, 100%. I have enough life. Uh, I'm probably content with doing corruption right now. But I also want to do bash. If I do corruption, then I'm only going to get burns. And then I have to just straight up. Hmm. I'm only gonna get burns and strikes, and I hope I don't have enough damage for that. The weak is nice, but we gotta just maximize whirlwind, no? Save one of the defense. Let's go for it. I could have saved one of the defense because of tungsten. It's probably worth it. I just need some burns. Let's go full aggro here. It's close. Getting bad, that's crazy. You know this whole act? Uh god, Reaper is really good, but Demon Form okay, Reaper and Magic Flower is insane, but we need something like Demon Form, because right now we don't have scaling. So Demon Form is the play. I want both, but Demon Form first, because we have modified hands and we need some scaling, which we don't have. Reaper comes after with the magic flower, and then this and then this pops off. I know corruption's been hitting bash every single time. This is an insanely lucky run actually. Reaper step two, demon form step one, you know? Snekawai. I think Snekawai is pretty good with these expensive powers. With Snekawai corruption is really good. Snekawai mummified hand is really good. Snekawai is really good here. Because of both of these things. Mummified hand and corruption. The other alternative is just get a whole bunch of relics. And let mummified hand give us energy. Or we just take the curse key. I think Snekko is really good here. Even the calling is really, really, really tempting as well. Corruption is, and Mumfet is just too good for Snekko Eye. Alright, let's try to be aggressive. We want to hit some elites, so it's one, two. We can do an extra campfire, or we can go for Sparkle right now. So we're not forced to do it later. I think we just do Sparkle right now. Yes, only drawn cards, yep. Tungsten is OP. Man, Magic Flower is so sick, we're healing for 9. Heavy Blade is a good... With, with Sneka White and Demon Form, Heavy Blade is pretty damn good. Star Farming Clay is really good. Oh, okay, Star Farming Clay is a little bit worse with uh, Tungsten, right? Because I don't get as much damage to my face. So if you end up getting Tori down the line... If you end up getting Tori down the line, then Star Farming Clay doesn't proc at all. Because normally you have like Tori and Star Farming Clay, but... I don't have Tori right now, and Star Farming Clay is just really good. So I think we just take the Star Farming Clay. It's just a really good relic. Who's the boss?
Suffering Glaze is one of those things you just buy. I mean, I do want to start removing strikes. This is whenever you play 10 cards, you draw a card. Not nearly as good as Suffering Clay. And there's there's some work, there is some value metallicized because we have corruption if we ever use that run out of our skills metallicized is a power which helps with our energy and it gives me block but yeah it, it so with suffering clay by itself can give you all the block you need against the heart in fact yesterday we beat with the ironclad it was suffering clay that um suffering clay was a big reason why we beat the heart yesterday Shrug is always nice. That guy's dead. I gotta upgrade Whirlwind. I mean, I gotta upgrade uh, Demon Form, I mean. This deck is bonkers. This deck is bonkers. Body slam is useful, not really. Infernal, nope. Let's upgrade Demon Form. Mayhem versus Mind Blast versus Discovery. The game's not bad. Oh shit. Armor and Hemokinesis is nuts. I mean, uh, Suffering and Hemokinesis plus Tungus and Rug. Hemokinesis is so good in my deck right now. It's out of control. so much spot weakness is so good we have demon form but i feel like spot weakness is just really good uh, skill always i mean we're drawing demon form pretty quickly so maybe we don't need spot weakness at all because demon form is a thing that we're getting pretty often whereas uppercut is just really it gets rid of two artifacts and it's another source of weaken it it feels weird when you have bash and close and an uppercut but because of snack away it's just a good way to get rid of two artifacts But the thing is, we're drawing demon form really quickly. So things we want right now are Reaper, for sure. Disarm, etc. Like Shockwave and stuff. I still like this because it gets rid of two artifacts, and it's pretty easy to play with Snekawai on average. Which probably this the, the little bit of extra strength, the, the quicker... The, the ability to scale even quicker is, is not... It shouldn't be undermined, I don't think, because it makes the Whirlwind that much stronger against the AoE and the Collector fight. It makes Heavy Blade that much stronger as well. I mean, this to get rid of the artifacts is just good alone. It just feels bloaty when you have Bash and Clothesline, you know? Yeah, I've got Clothesline, but the thing about the heart it has artifacts. You have artifacts against other things. You can also apply weak to other people not just one target i still think spot weakness is really good on average but with three energy let's go for a snack away uppercut here Alrighty, book of stabbing can be really painful here i don't have disarm or anything that's a little bit worrisome book of stabbing is worrisome here
Mm -hmm. You take you take zero damage with the. You take zero damage with this and um. Tori. Okay, this is not bad. Let's see, the book stabbing would have been the worst. Right now, just do Warrow and straight up. Because it's a pretty bad hand otherwise. I got really unlucky. And we use Blood Pot, if anything. I just got really unlucky there. Probably a Blood Pot here, Magic Flower. Take some damage here, this is fine. No, no need to. And we really want to play our powers, holy crap. Look at that, that's actually insane. That's actually an insane draw. We got the boot here, so this is fine. What a free fight. Disgusting. Magic Flower and Bug Potion. Double Corruption is stupid, but Dropkick could potentially go infinite, right? If the right cards... Okay, actually, Dropkick is not... It's much harder to go infinite with Snake Eye and Dropkick. Because of Snake Eye, Dropkick infinite is no longer as good. But Fiendfire is a way to aggressively thin out my deck. And with Snake Eye, we can get really good Fiendfire turns. The only problem is I don't really have good targets for Fiendfire. It's a good way to dump my Demon from Strength, though. I just don't like how I don't have good targets for it. You know? My deck's super small. Tiny Chest here seems okay, because we're about to hit two question marks right now. Remove the Pain. I mean... Sure, it's doing nothing for me. Two more, we got treasure. Hell yeah, Pog. Dropkick is really good with corruption stuff like that, but Snake Eye makes it uh, unreliable, unfortunately. But yeah, normally I would take Dropkick and go for Infinite, because having the ability to go Infinite is really important. It is not to be underestimated, the Dropkick Infinite stuff. We're extracting juice. What's up, L? This is an awkward turn. Mm hmm. So, so drop basically drop pick is. It, it's quite nice to have. Now nah, I'll wait for. I'm gonna wait for a drop, demon form. I, for, speaking of demon form, I want to play it. There it is. I think we play corruption now. You know, I could have played War I could have brought Whirlwind back. It's probably the smarter play. But we also have Lethal. The deck's really strong. Red Skull is really nice, I like it. Second Whirlwind, eh. I could bring Whirlwind back. Right? So I can do this and then Warwind back. Why not? 
this deck can kill the heart if we get a couple of things. I mean, it has a lot of th good things going for it, right? So we have... We have Magic Flower, Demon Form, and if you get find Reaper, then Reaper is an amazing resource. Corruption, Dark Embrace is very powerful for block purposes. So a lot of good things going for it. If we get a couple of things, like we get like Disarm, we get a Reaper. It's got really good things going for it. It's got scaling, it's got really good relics with tungsten, self forming, magic flower. These are all really good against the heart. So, with a couple more cards, this is looking like an easy heart win. Just a couple more cards. The dual build is really good here because we, we draw so much that we often can see dual build. And if we can do dual build on important targets like Heavy Blade, I think is probably the best one right now. It's too ready to corruption. But this would be a good time to bring do wheel for the demon form. But we don't need a double demon form, it's totally fine. Also, War was not bad and it's naked. Yeah, this there's there's a lot of potential for get the block or get hand of greed for damage. Or get metamorphosis, three random attacks that cost zero. How good is that really, honestly? Right now I just want block, but the good news is worse later on because of the zero cost, right? And if I'm thinking long term, hand agreed, if I can get the kills with this, it actually gives me more gold, which helps me get a better deck or better shops for the next acts. Because right now we need to hit some important targets. In Act 3, we're looking for a Reaper Disarm, maybe shit out a Tori or something. Yeah, I need block right now, but I'm not really worried about it. I'll do this. I could hit something like another block. Be perfect. So I'm just gonna kill one of these things now. Yeah, Pummel's pretty cool. Oh, you can't hand a greed in this, right? Because it's a minion. Yeah, did they change hand a greed to non uh, non minion? Is that a recent change? Maybe, even if it wasn't. Heavy Blade outclasses it, because we have we have Heavy Blade here, so... Like, if you notice... Our heavy Blade outclasses it big time. But that's fine. I don't really care. I guess I could... Tr honestly... I could try to get Hand Agreed on the boss. I should probably do that, huh? At this point, it's worth it. Should have weakened him, but yeah, it's worth it getting hand here. Unless, of course, I take too much damage. But all right, we could kill him. Hand is not worth it, right? Fuck it. I would have loved to. We got the Reaper. All right, so the deck is getting that much closer to beating the heart because right now what I see is I have Reaper. And I've got dual wield for that with magic flower demon form. So honestly, we're getting really close to being able to beat the heart. Our max HP is the only issue. I don't like any of these. Like I think Runic Pyramid and Sneko is really dangerous. You don't want to do Runic Pyramid Sneko. It, it often leads to disaster. Black Blood is unnecessary. So we take the Astral Life to get rid of these strikes. And maybe we get some good cards here. Another Heavy Blade is very good with the deck. Berserk is not bad because we actually want energy. Fire breathing is okay. It gives me energy with the mummified hands, and I get it out of my deck, so it's not the end of the world. Berserk gives us energy as well. And because we have such good healing with Magic Flower Reaper, the vulnerable from Berserk actually doesn't mean that much to me. So I actually want to go for as many elites as possible because not only is the deck strong, but I really want to get another powerful relic to really sink in this win. So right here I can get three elites, but I think maybe two is a little bit better. Uh, maybe we can stomach three. I think we we're okay against Reptomancer, and there's also three over here. We want to also prioritize question marks because question marks means we get more treasure. So we get treasure there, and then one, two, three. F uh, 
One, two, three, four. Limit Break wasn't a consideration, no, because Reaper is too good with Demon Form, too good with Demon Form, Magic Flower, and Reaper has dual wield. Limit Break was never a consideration. Is this the better path? Let's go for three leads here. Let's go for it. But yeah, dual wield Reaper is just really good. Limit Break's not the best card ever. Nope. Not with Demon Form. I can afford to take some damage here. I could afford to take some damage here, but... We'll play it cool. Now we don't have Hand of Green in the deck anymore, so... Okay, that's GG. I don't need to do Reaper at all here. Whirlwind number two. So a, a, a third Heavy Blade's too much. A second Whirlwind is not necessary because you want to draw into all. I mean, for the Act Four Elite, it's not bad. Now we keep the deck small here. About to get treasure very soon. Lose the last strike. So now we're actually this, this deck is Calipers is huge. Okay, so we're we're very close to beating the heart. We're very close to beating the heart. We are very close. I mean, Fiendfire feels kind of good here. We are very close to beating the heart, guys. These, that was a huge relic right there. I should have probably played Berserk. I gotta survive this, of course. We have Reaper for this though. So we can actually try to get Reaper here. I think it's worth it. Look for Reaper. Okay, we didn't get Reaper. Fuck me. I really want to get Reaper here, so what's the best way I can do this? I could wait. We're already healing for nine, but it's worth a do Reaper here for sure. Okay, that makes damage a little bit worse. Uh, Reaper's still good though. I was I'm trying to get dual wield back, but it's too late now. That's fine. Easy, easy. Battle Chance is still really good. No, I didn't want Fiendfire. I wanted full heal. I didn't care about anything else. I really want Feed, you know? Feed would be amazing. Battle Chance is still really good, despite the fact that, well, Sneko White makes it worse. So is it necessary? Because we already have seven card draw a turn, and our deck's really small. Do we need Battle Chance? I'll Fiendfire would have drawn it out. Yeah, but would that, wouldn't that mess up my heal, though, because I'm doing too much damage? I'm scared the better chance might mess me up, honestly. But with Mavgat Hand, transform a card here. We're getting rid of Bash. Uh, Karnas gets rid of itself, so it's not the end of the world. enough to beat this fight. I just need a deer form, so I kind of want to find deal wield, right? Do wield deal form is really good here. But there's a world in which I probably can't do it. Do wield deal form is really good. So here's what needs to happen, all right? I need to hit Berserk and it needs to make Shrug it off free and then Shrug it off needs to draw into dual wield and deal wield needs to be one or less. 
Okay, it was almost perfect. If I do Reaper now, I can get dual wield, and dual wield needs to be one or less, right? They, they, so I, I could do this, and then we got double demon form. There we go. Now that's how you make the turns a little bit better, you know? We could do it with Reaper now because we for later on, or we could do it with Heavy Blade to get the lethal. I probably want to do it with Heavy Blade for later on. I do not like how much damage this guy's doing to me. So I think I'm gonna do this. And bring Heavy Blade back. Um we're gonna have to do Reaper before this fight's over, because there's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage to me right now. So we could always regroup before the fight's over. It's not the end of the world. And we have Corruption. Corruption's gonna draw into everything, so we're actually totally fine here. Before this, before the fight is over, we're gonna we're gonna have Corruption and then we're drawn to Reaper. So this is totally fine. There it is. And we might even look for dual wield right now. And then we just win. So dual wield Reaper gives us full healing. I don't think we need to dual wield it, but it's a possibility. Uh, we can dual wield Reaper and we GG. So Entrench is pretty good because we have Calipers. And I, th I think there's a world in which Entrench pops off. There's that world. And what's funny, if you arm it, Dark Embrace, it should lower the cost, right? I just want to double check. Yeah, alright. That's pretty good. And the fact that we got Paris Break, because I really want ma max HP, so I'm really happy about that. And Dual Uppercut is really good here to get rid of the artifacts, so I'm happy about that as well. Berserk is cool and all. We have Reaper at the end of the day. Um, first off, let me see something. There's a world in which I go for two question marks instead of the elite because I can get an extra treasure. Is that better? Because right here, we're going to be at... Like I said, we can go for two question marks and get treasure instead of fighting the elite. We don't get the card choice, but we get question marks plus treasure. So, I don't know. I might go to that path instead. Anyways, let's do this. That's awesome. No questions about it. Ironclad is awesome. That new Pomosan is kind of weird, man. Uh, I feel like I was getting rid of this now. Dark Embrace, maybe. Because I want to get something better. That's perfect. Is, the treasure is guaranteed relic as well, though. A treasure room is guaranteed relic. Unless I'm missing something about that card. So you guys see something crazy? There's some trench here, and then... I want to try to do damage here, and re Reaper. In a sec. Yeah, they added a sounds. I want to get Reaper out here. Uh, see that? You hear that sound? Power Potion versus Artifact. Artifact Dexterity is really powerful. I think Power Potion is probably better. Um. No, no, it's guaranteed treasure room. So on the fourth one, it's gonna be guaranteed treasure. So on the fourth one, I'm gonna get a guaranteed treasure, which means a chest, which means a relic. And we get the question marks as well. But the elite gives you a higher chance of rare cards, so you can get things like another Reaper. I'm gonna take more from this room. A second pummel is very good, but I wonder if we don't need it. We don't, probably don't need it right now. 
Power versus artifacts. I think we just take the power here. We can go for more fights, because more fights is good. But right now, I guess what we could do is upgrade... We could upgrade something like Pummel or Battle Trains. Like we don't really have good upgrade targets right now. So, uh, upgrade Pummel, Battle Trains. We can go for a fight and just try to get more cards. More chances of getting Disarm. Even a late feed is not bad. Nothing else is a good upgrade. I guess Fiendfire is a decent upgrade. Fiendfire is a decent upgrade, and Rugged Off is an okay upgrade. I'm probably using that every single time. Yeah, I was talking about Tiny Chest. That's what I was talking about. Uh, sure, we'll get we'll get a stupid upgrade here. We we'll also get more energy. We'll get the stupid upgrade here. Why not? That could make or break it. So I'm gonna take it with Sapphire that. And then now we only get treasures. I think Lantern's pretty good. More energy is pretty good. Like me and the bone with magic flower is awesome, but I don't think we're ever like if we're ever below half, we're probably gonna reaper up to full anyways. So I'm more inclined to want to remove something. Like I probably want to remove fire breathing. Or cor a carnage. Carnage, I'm never really caring about, I don't think. Fire Breathing is a power I can get rid of it. It sucks against the Awakened one, but it also is not too bad against the Act 4 Elite. Probably don't need this, though. So the Elite gives you the chance of getting a higher rare card when you kill them. And you also get more gold and get potions, but I think I'm going to go for Mystery Room. Because you also get the chance of Mystery Room, whatever that has to offer. Which could be colorless cards or, you know. Uh, yep. I'll probably remove Carnage over Fire Breathing here. We never take him Finesse. I want to save the rest of my gold though. Because there's another shop coming up. Two of the like embrace. I mean, why not? We're not doing corruption here, are we? I mean, I guess we could do corruption. What's the downside of doing corruption here this early? I get rid of all my skills, but we also have. We also have. Uh, I could do will give me form, but eh. Also, I have entrenched, is what I was trying to say. Am I entrenching now? Just get the calibers going? I can, get, I can make this so much more. This. this uh, I'm not worried about this fight. I feel that Heavy Blade's gonna carry this fight. This is his biggest attack though. Pummel does pop off here though. So the, Pummel still does damage here. I guess Fire Breathing's good. I think we duplicate Reaper. Duplicating Heavy Blade is really good as well though. Okay, the heavy, heavy blade is better because you want to go. You want to go for lethal, and, and heavy blade gives you lethal. So heavy blade was probably the better upgrade. Uh, we don't need to do anything. This is too easy. Never mind. Gambling tip is huge. Barricade is massive. All right, it's GG. So barricade is one of the things I wanted to find. We found it, right? Barricade is one of the things we wanted to find. We found it. Um, I want to go for the question marks to get the treasure chests. The Elite can give us another rare. And at least are pretty easy right now. But yeah, I want to go for this. We got another relic, which is not that good. And then a guaranteed treasure coming up. So we're going to place all the bad things with Snickle Eyes. It's really good. This is really, really good. 
Can dual wheel demon form here. I should have played it. I should have played something first and had all that demon form. That was totally my bad. It was totally my bad there. And then we just win. Game almost like I was very good. We have very good relics this run. Disgusting the good relics. Taking damage is not a big deal because we have Reaper. Case in point. Don't need any of this stuff. Colors versus that. I mean, we're good. Guaranteed treasure here. We got Vajra. I'll take it. Recall. All right. So timing, I, th I think we scale pretty well. And if you find Barricade right away, we're probably really good. Early demon form is not bad. Fire breathing, I don't care about. Getting rid of it's not bad, but I think it's I keep one block here. Getting one right now kind of sucks. Um, it would have been nice to get double demon form out, do a wield, or at least get barricade out. I'm probably just gonna use this now. I don't see a better time. And this means I can probably do Berserk and not care about it because I have enough block. Now we're kind of good. I think Dual Heavy Blade is going to be really good in this fight. I'm just going to go proc him right now and go for Lethal very soon. Get Reaper before we do this. So we're just going to play super fast base here because we can afford it. Entrench barricade is amazing. I don't even have to do corruption if I want. I can just go crazy with entrench. Um, before we do anything, though, I mean, I will do corruption now. But before we go crazy, make sure we reaper. All right. Now we're gonna reaper, and then we're gonna win. Kick the other guy's ass. I think Wagon One is, is punishes me, so this is gonna be a harder fight. This fight's gonna be a little bit harder, but we're still playing Demon Form right away. I'm not playing Fire Breathing. Uppercut is nice for the weekend, but I think it's important that we get in the least, we we'll probably get Barricade out of the way. Evolve, we're not playing. Maybe if I can probably Fiend Fire some of this stuff. I mean, Uppercut's not bad. Probably just gonna do demon form and block, no? This guy could actually kick my ass. I don't have disarm. The weaken is very good. Should probably keep the weaken. Dual wield on heavy blade is really good for this fight. So is the weaken though. So we could do a world reaper, because we kind of know we're going to take damage in this fight, right? So if we could do a world reaper now, so we draw more into Re reaper later on. Worst case scenario, we take some damage, we heal up. Or we do a heavy blade now to, so we can kill the cultist and kill this awakened one sooner. Or we weaken him and take less damage overall. And don't do a world at all. Or we even try to kill cult cultists right now. We just focus on the cultists. Our next draws are not that great. I think we have so many options, we don't really need to worry too much. Let's kill the cultist and then 1v1 him. I think Barricade and Trench is really good, but not in this moment in time. And he's not weakened, unfortunately. So I can do close and then Whirlwind. You close that whirlwind. I think we can come back from this, no problem. Uh, these are important powers to play. We just gotta manage the cultists first, in my opinion. And 
and then we should be okay. Is this a world in which we're doing corruption? Not corruption, but uh, fiend fire here. Are we getting rid of corruption and fiend fire in here? Is it stupid to get rid of corruption in this fight? I mean, once we once we kill this guy, we can just like do barricade stacking. Yeah, once you kill the cultists, we do barricade stacking and it's GG. I don't need clothesline, but extending the weakness is quite nice. I can get rid of headbutt, I don't need it necessarily. Yeah, we don't need any of these cards. That yeah, should be GG. I really want to get rid of these powers. Like, Barricade is so good, but I need to kill this guy first. Or are we just playing them just to get him out of the deck? Because I did get rid of a lot of my skills. Playing powers here does help me play more stuff. AKA, we have Reaper coming up, so we can heal worst case scenario. So I think I play all the powers here, actually. I think I play all the powers here, give him a whole bunch of strength. Because worst case scenario, we can heal like crazy. Or get the kill. I think I play all the powers here. But it makes him super strong. I could avoid that. I could be a little bit patient. I don't gotta do that. Play barricade now. Is it even useful? See, what I'm thinking is like play barricade, fire breathing, dark embrace. Then I can play shrug it off. I can play defend and trench. And then I can just do like heavy blade shenanigans. If the heavy blades get cheaper, then I, I'm close to lethal. But. Because you see how bad this turn is in terms of damage, when I could potentially be playing so much more. Playing a lot more. But there is Reaper still. I don't think I care about the strength that he has. We have to move him out. I think we just play this, honestly. Because once the next phase comes around, we just have shit ton of damage. Thinking it probably. What is there to worry about when you heal the fool, anyways? You know, ain't that much to worry about. Now that now when we kill him, we can play berserk. Okay, how sick would it be if I could just play berserk right now? For good luck, for good measure. There's nothing we're doing for Act 4 Elite. We can't not setting up anything, right? Nothing to set up here. Oh, man. Do we even need, um... We don't need Reaper because we're healing for a good amount. Okay, GG. Now we have a big shop to go to. 
All right, let's do it, boys. I think I overthought that for sure. Let us upgrade. The only decent upgrade here, I would say, is Clothesline to have more weaken, Shrug it off for more block, or Fiend Fire for more damage. I think the most important thing for me is going to be um, the weaken on the heart. But these guys have artifacts, so I'm not going to really get to weaken, so maybe Shrug it off and just upgrade that. I'm probably playing Shrug it off always, anyways. Team Fighter is a good way to kill the, but it's like minimal. I think, yeah, I think Shrug it up, honestly is just the best one. I'll be right back. I gotta use the bathroom before we fight this fight. Ooh, we got Dolly's Mirror, so I might just do that on Reaper. We'll see. Okay, so I actually think, guys, I actually think I do Dolly's Mirror on Entrench. Now, here's my philosophy. You're probably thinking, you're not getting enough block for Entrench to do things. But we have self forming Clay, so if I take a lot of damage from his multi-hits... If I have two entrenches, that means I could take that the block I get from myself from clay, which is a lot, and then entrench and get enough block for the rest of the fight. So any of the multi-hit fights in Act 4 with self forming clay makes entrench very good. So I do think that we do uh, entrench Dolly's Mirror here. I think we get a potion as well. Region Pot just has a lot of value because of the magic flower, but Thorn Pot gives me a little bit more damage. I think we're not worried about damage. I think Dark Shackles is very good just in a pinch. But 100%, I think Dolly's Mirror is either that or Demon Form. Because it's really important that we get Demon Form right away. And once we do that, the scaling is out of control and it makes Reaper even better. But I think Entrench is still my pick. And I just barely could afford both of these, right? Dark Shackles. Dark Shackles cost is a little awkward, so I could take it because it's very good for both of these fights, despite the artifacts. But, um. Potions are more, could be more reliable. Like, I don't want to draw into Dark Shackles and then it kills me, but okay, this is fine. And let's go. We've, it's important that we get scaling right away. I might just do Bark Berserk as well. We also want to find. The so double entrench is cool and all. Double entrench is, is still not that good. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay, that one is fine here. It makes the, the vulnerable a little bit awkward, but it's a lot of block. With calipers, I think we just win the fight now. I think we just win with Evolve. Barricade, GG, right? I think we just get the Entrench again and we just win. And, and, and the trench is just gonna hard carry because the deck's already doing everything else. Um, we could do corruption here. We could do corruption here and then just go for demon form scaling lethal. No. At the store, we bought Dolly's mirror. We duplicated in trench because we figured that in trench is gonna be very useful with the self forming clay against the heart to make a lot of block and then we bought dark shackles i want to play some of these powers to get mumf at hands i think i'm okay with corruption here i really want to play double demon form but yeah double demon form is really good then i can't double reaper so the Reaper that I do have to play has to count, you know? This gives me vulnerable. This gives rid of both his artifacts. I could do an upgrade now and get rid of... I can get rid of his... I can make him weaken and take less damage if I do a world uppercut. But I think it's better to do a demon form. Well, Reaper's gonna full heal anyways. Do a world uppercut just makes it take no damage right now. I think we're overthinking it yet again. We're overthinking it yet again. I don't see. I don't see how we lose here. I don't 
Let's see how we lose. Overthinking. Overthinking McGee. Just let Entrench do Entrench things. We don't even need the heal. Trigger is pretty good, right? I can take a trigger here. Do I want a trigger? Sure, trigger is fine. Right, let's go. Right, so it's really important we find Demon Form and Re Barricade right away. We got both of those. I think this next important thing here is to try to duel with Reaper or duel with Demon Form just to make the fight really easy. I don't think we care about he Heavy Blade here. I don't think we care about Armaments. I'll keep shrugging off. I think duel is quite nice. Worst case scenario though, we just have... Demon Form Barricade. I think we play Demon Form. See what it hits. I don't care, we take some damage here, this is totally fine. Corruption now. Combust gives us... No, we don't play, not Corruption now, I meant to say um, Power Pot now. This gives us some entrenched stuff, which is fine. All right, we gotta survive this right here. And everything's fine here. So I think we want to play Berserk now. Because we're already vulnerable. It makes it last an extra turn, but it gives us energy. But we also want to weaken him. So there is a one in one in five chance that hits weaken. One in five chance it hits to weaken, and I, I can get the energy for this fight and get this out of the deck. Do we care otherwise? I mean, I, I'll probably want to play this regardless. But that sucks that I draw my entrench because I need the entrench for this right now. Right now, I need that entrench. I really need that entrench right now. But, uh. I can't, I can't afford to take any more damage. Uh, we need re now we need to reap her up now. We need to reap her up now. Fuck. I still don't want to have burns in my life. Are we ever just doing corruption now? Honestly? Ah, uh, we're doing corruption. I hate how this fight went. The Reaper's gonna be fine, but I wanna be able to do a wield more often. I never got to play the Berserk, so I'm kinda low on energy. No, I did play the Berserk, okay. The Entrenched are gonna be not as good though if I just get rid of them now. Um, it's important that I do wield Reaper. Or heavy blade. Corruption might be too soon, but we're also kind of in a pickle. Maybe I maybe I keep trigger it. It's really important that I hit the Reaper. I got it. Unfortunately, yeah, it does feel too soon because I want to do Entrench after I take the hits here because I get a lot of free block from these hits. And I didn't get to duel with Reaper, so if I'm not dual wounding Reaper, then I don't know. It's a little bit scary this fight. Let's get rid of my entrench anyways. This is fine. So what we can do is just get lethal and we use entrench for this block right here. Let's 
get rid of his artifacts. It does feel kind of bad. I'm getting so much damage though. We just dual the heavy blade and we just win, right? I should have done this sooner, but. Can we just went with dual with heavy blade. Or am I being too ambitious here? Next turn, we have lethal. I'm sure we have lethal next turn, right? There's lethal next turn. <laughs> Pretty easy. Wait, I, I still have lethal. Yeah, that's pretty easy. I, this is the, the this is the hallmark of overthinking run. Like, this run was so easy, and I overthought everything about it. Hey, GG. All right, two zero in the ironclad recently. God, I overthought everything. Like that deck was just giving me all the answers, and I'm still like, ah, there's a chance we lose here. I guess it's better to be cautious, right? It's better to be cautious. I run had everything, guys. Jesus. Sometimes you just high roll every relic.